from mysterious photos of people that might resemble historical figures to this strange statue that might have predicted the second coming of Little Wheezy. Here are 15 historical celebrity doppelgangers. Number 15. Sylvester Stallone and Pope Gregory Sylvester Stallone was born in 1946 in Hell's Kitchen, New York. The muscular actor is best known as Rocky Balboa from the Rocky series and John Rambo from the Rambo films. And this creepy celebrity doppelganger is an image of Pope Gregory IX from Raphael's The Cardinal and Theological Virtues, which is displayed at the Vatican. Could Sylvester Stallone really be some kind of time traveler? Number 14. Vladimir Putin and Louis XII of France Born in 1952 in St. Petersburg, Russia, Vladimir Putin has been elected as Russia's president three times now, and before, he was a KGB officer, and his lookalike is King Louis XII, who is also known for stirring up trouble. Louis was the king of France from 1498 to 1515 and waged several wars against Italy. The two powerful men do look remarkably similar, the chin, the eyes, and the nose, especially. Could Vladimir Putin be some kind of a mortal vampire? Some have claimed to have seen photos of Putin throughout the ages and even in World War I as a pilot. Number 13. Ben Schwartz and Leon Trotsky Born in 1981 in the Bronx in New York City, Ben Schwartz is an actor, comedian, and writer. He is best known for his role in the sitcom Parks and Recreation. The New Yorker looks an awful lot like Russian-born Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky was a Marxist revolutionary and theorist as well as a Soviet politician and the founding leader of the Red Army. Looking at a young Leon Trotsky, it's hard to believe that there isn't at least some relation to the young comical actor Ben Schwartz. Distant relative or something more? Number 12. Johnny Depp and Arthur Schopenhauer Born in 1963 in Kentucky as the youngest son of four children, Johnny Depp is an actor, producer, and musician. Starting out in the little-known 1980s television series called 21 Jump Street, the Hollywood star has since become one of the highest-paid actors in Hollywood. Arthur Schopenhauer was a German philosopher who was best known for his 1818 work, The World as Will and Representation, which has outlined his belief that human beings are motivated only by their basic desires. Could Johnny Depp really be a vampire who reinvents himself every century or so? He has been in some creepy films that would almost make you assume he knows these roles just a little bit too well. Number 11. Chuck Norris and Vincent Van Hoff Carlos Ray Norris was born in Oklahoma in 1940 and is a martial artist. He is best known for his role as Walker, Texas Ranger. Vincent Van Hoff was a Dutch Impressionist painter, and he's known for Starry Night and his Flower, also his self-portrait series. Van Hoff sold one painting during his lifetime and spent his life living in poverty with severe mental illness, characterized by psychotic episodes and delusions. He was also known for his heavy drinking. In 1888, a fit of dementia, Van Hoff attacked a friend with a knife before turning it on himself and mutilating his own earlobe. Afterwards, he allegedly wrapped up the ear and gave it to a prostitute at a nearby brothel. His self-portrait shows a red beard, very similar to Chuck Norris's. The receding hairline, the nose, the eyes, all seem nearly identical. Number 10. Mark Zuckerberg and Philip IV of Spain Where's Philip IV's Facebook page at? What are the odds that the king of social media strangely resembles a powerful king? Born in White Plains, New York, in 1984, Mark Elliott Zuckerberg is an American programmer, internet entrepreneur, executive, and a philanthropist. He's the chairman and co-founder of the famous social networking site Facebook. Philip IV was king of Spain and Portugal, and he ascended the throne in 1621. He reigned in Portugal until 1640 in Spain, until his death in 1665. The shape of their faces, the style and color of their hair, and those pouty lips all bear remarkable similarities. Could these two powerful men in history possibly be the same person? Number 9. Rupert Grint and David Wilkie Rupert Alexander Lloyd Grint was born in 1988 and is an English actor best known for his role in the Harry Potter film series as Ron Weasley. Sir David Wilkie was a Scottish painter who lived from 1785 to 1841. Looking at a young self-portrait of the Scotland-born painter does make one think, could these two men be somehow related? The red hair, bushy eyebrows, and stern eyes all look eerily related. 
Perhaps they are distant cousins, or maybe something more curious or even supernatural. Number 8. Jimmy Fallon and Mahir Kayan Born in Brooklyn, New York in 1974, Jimmy Fallon is a comedian, television host, actor, singer, writer, and producer. Mahir Kayan was a Turkish politician and leader of the People's Liberation Party Front of Turkey and proud Marxist-Leninist revolutionary leader. He was killed in 1972, only two years before Jimmy Fallon was born. What are the odds he gets reincarnated into this comedian? Number 7. Jennifer Lawrence and Zubaida Tharwat Jennifer Lawrence is an actress best known for her roles as Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. As of 2016, Lawrence is the highest paid actress in the world. Zubaida Tharwat is an Egyptian film star known for her beauty in films such as A Day in My Life and Beware of Love. Born in 1940 in Alexandria, Egypt, the 76-year-old actress currently resides in her native home of Egypt. Both actresses are known for their strikingly beautiful figures, glowing eyes, soft hair, and pouty lips. Number 6. Orlando Bloom and Nikolai Gigorescu Born in 1977, the English actor is best known for his role as Legolas in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and his own role in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. Nikolai lived from 1838 to 1907. Could they really be the same person living lifetime to lifetime and reinventions of themselves? Looking at the eyes, hair, and stern lips, it's easy to wonder. Maybe vampires are still among us and change their identity as time goes by. Number 5. Little Wayne and the Mayan Statue Michael Dwayne Carter Jr., better known as Lil Wayne, is an American hip-hop artist born in 1982 in New Orleans, Louisiana. This statue from the Mayan era bears a striking resemblance to the young rapper. The ancient Mayans often looked to the heavens for guidance and to make predictions. The teeth, the ridge of the nose, even the crown on its head seems to bear a similar resemblance. Could the Mayans have possibly predicted Lil Wayne? Or is this the second coming of Lil Wheezy? Number 4. Bruce Willis and Douglas MacArthur Born in 1955, the young Walter Bruce Willis grew up in New Jersey. The actor, producer, and singer is best known for his role, John McClane, in the Die Hard series. Douglas MacArthur was an American five-star general and played a prominent role in World War II, for which he received the Medal of Honor. MacArthur lived from 1880 to 1964. Their lips, eyes, nose, and striking gaze all make for delightful conspiracy theories. Number 3. Jack Black and Paul Revere Thomas Jacob Black was born in 1969 in Santa Monica, California. He is an actor, comedian, and musician. He's actually been nominated for two Golden Globes. Some famous films include The School of Rock, Tropic Thunder, and Kung Fu Panda franchise. Paul Revere was an American silversmith, engraver, and early industrialist, but is best known as a patriot in the American Revolution for alerting the colonial militia of the approaching British forces. From the eyes, to the upturned eyebrows, and even the hand gestures. Time traveler, immortal creature, vampiric prince. All theories point to these two being related in more than just simple coincidence. Number 2. Alec Baldwin and President Millard Fillmore Born in 1958 in Amityville, New York, Alec Baldwin, the oldest sibling of Hollywood's famous Baldwin clan, is an actor, producer, and comedian. Baldwin gained notoriety for his sitcom 30 Rock, winning two Emmy Awards. Millard Fillmore also grew up in upstate New York and served as the 13th President of the United States from 1850 to 1853. There is definitely a remarkable resemblance. The eyes, the nose, even the slope in their jaw all look incredibly the same. Okay, so before we get to our number one, have you ever seen any doppelgangers before? Or even your doppelganger? Answer in the comment section below, we'd love to hear what you say. Number one, Peter Dinklage and Diego Velazquez painting of Sebastian de Mora. Peter Dinklage is known for his role as Tyrion Lannister in the HBO series Game of Thrones, for which he won an Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Born with dwarfism, the young actor owned in on his craft in New York City and has had roles in The X-Men and The Chronicles of Narnia film series. The portrait of Sebastián de Mora was painted by Diego Velázquez. Sebastián was a court dwarf and jester at the court of Philip IV of Spain. Philip IV is also on the list as a lookalike of Mark Zuckerberg. Could something magical have taken place in Philip IV's court? 
could the King of Spain have unlocked the secrets to immortal life? 